For some aspiring law school students, this D-Days will be spent studying for one of the biggest tests of their career. Sandy McEwen is a political science professor who frequently works with students taking the law school admissions test, or LSAT. To my knowledge, it hasn't been scheduled directly on D-Days before, although it is scheduled every year in October. Travis Iverson is one of 20 students taking Saturday's test. Iverson says he's disappointed it conflicts with the big game. I guess I would say I'm pretty upset it's over D-Days, but it's, uh, it's not just here, it's a national date, so there's nothing that we could really do about it, so I guess we'll just have to put up with it. Andrew Finzen is also taking the LSAT. He says he won't be tempting himself with D-Day celebrations. Well, the whole week uh, leading up to D-Days, I pretty much planned to be shutting myself in my room and locking myself away from civilization, so that's going to be different. The LSAT is offered four times a year around the same dates. It takes about four and a half hours to complete and measures verbal and written reasoning, among other key skills that students will need in order to be successful in law school.